Just a week ago, doctors announced that a baby had actually been cured of HIV for the first time. The spread of HIV from a mother to her unborn baby is now the source of almost all AIDS cases in children here in the U.S. That's why the Indiana State Department of Health is using today, National Woman and Girls HIV AIDS Awareness Day, to spread the word about a new campaign. RTV6 reporter Julie Persley joins us now live in studio to explain how it could save lives. Julie? Drew, this new campaign is called One Test, Two Lives. It sends a message that with proper treatment of a mother, an unborn baby could be protected against HIV. If a baby is born to a mother who has HIV, that does not mean the child will automatically get the disease. In fact, a new campaign called One Test, Two Lives and this website are trying to educate health care providers and pregnant women about the importance of early HIV screening and treatment. Not only does it not have to be a death sentence for the woman, but it doesn't have to be a death sentence for the baby either. The manager of the Indiana State Health Department's HIV prevention program says one test, two lives, encourages pregnant women to be screened for HIV and AIDS in the first trimester. If we treat the mother, we can better prevent the transmission of HIV to her baby. Since the early 80s, when the AIDS epidemic began, there have been 826 reported cases in Indiana of babies being infected by their mothers. Without proper treatment, there is a 25% chance that HIV will be transmitted from a mother to her baby. But doctors say with appropriate intervention, such as medications or C-section deliveries, only 1-2% to 2 of pregnant women with HIV will transmit the virus to their unborn children. To spare a baby from facing a lifetime of medications and doctors and illnesses is the greatest advancement we've had in the spread uh, against the spread of HIV AIDS. Dr. Cox from Riley Hospital for Children and IU Health says the One Test Two Lives campaign can not only empower mothers to get help from themselves but also for their babies. Here in Indiana, women make up less than 20% of all HIV cases. Now, of that group, African-American women account for 65% of all newly reported cases. That is why the health department says it is especially important to reach minority moms. Drew? Julie, do these women have to be screened? Actually, here in the state of Indiana, it is the law that any pregnant woman must be screened for HIV unless she specifically declines the test, and they have to do that by signing a signature. But if you have more questions, we have a link to One Test, Two Lives on our website, theindychannel.com. Just look for my story. This is very important information, Julie. Thank you very much. Now,